Today we're going to go ahead and discuss how to find the right battery backup UPS system uh, for your application and calculate backup time. Uh, so first things first, we're going to have to pull some information off the devices we'd like to protect. Uh, so in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and say that we have a modem, a VOIP phone, and a Dell PowerEdge R630 server. So uh, first, we're going to go ahead and pull up the modem power supply. And so in this case, if I zoom in, I'm looking for the input voltage and amperage. And I'm going to multiply the voltage times the amperage to get the watts. So here we're going to go ahead and make a spreadsheet. And I've already said, OK, well, here's my modem. I have 120 volts times 0.3 amps equals 36 watts. So I'm going to go back here. 120 volts right here on the input times 0.3 amps equals 36 watts. I don't need the output because what's actually going to be used from the battery backup system is the input from the power supply. The output is what just goes to the device after uh, this power supply. All right, so the next thing I'm going to pull is the power specs from my VOIP phone or PoE device. Um, in this case, it's going to be 120 volts. If it says 100-240V and you live in the U.S., more than likely it's just 120 volts. So that's why I used 120 volts here. And so we'll use 120 volts times 0.4 amps equals 48 watts. Put that into our spreadsheet. Say this is a, a Vonage phone or a VoIP phone. So 120 volts times 0.4 amps equals 48 watts. And then we'll say I'm running like a fairly high-end server at home. So we'll say that I have a, a Dell PowerEdge R630. And on the spec sheet from the back of that, it says that the power supplies it comes with, uh, or the main one, is the titanium efficiency 750-watt AC power supply. Uh, there's some other power supplies, but for this uh, demonstration, we'll just say that we have a 750-watt power supply. So in that case, I don't need to fill in the Bolt to the amps. I can just put in the watts and I can do a formula and I can say, okay, well, the total to put my modem, VoIP phone, and server on backup power is 834 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Google. And I'm going to go ahead and type in backupbatterypower.com. We go to www.backupbatterypower.com. I'm going to go to Tools, Calculate Backup Time. I'm going to scroll down to this first calculator. All right, so let me go back to my spreadsheet. I have 834 watts. Right, so let me go back here, and I'm going to type in my load, 834. And the first model in here is a 900-watt UPS uh, or battery backup. Uh, and so let me show you what that looks like. That's this system right here. Well, I'm only going to get seven minutes of backup power based on an 834 watt load with this model. So let me scroll down to the second and third options available uh, on this model. So the second option on this is the main battery backup plus an external battery pack. So that's what this is what that looks like. And so Based on that, I'm going to get 38 minutes. It's still not enough time uh, for a power outage in my case, so I'm going to go down to the third option and get the UPS plus two external battery packs or battery backup plus two external battery packs. And I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so that's a three module system. And based on my calculator, I'm going to get over an hour of backup time with that based on an 834 watt load. So that would be sufficient in this case. There's other models if I wanted to experiment and say, okay, well, you know, I have a fairly high budget. I'm running a server room. Um, I want to get something that's maybe 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and select something like this option, and it'll give me about 15 hours, 47 minutes. So let's see what that looks like. All right. Something like this is used in uh, server rooms or data centers where it gives you long, prolonged runtime. But in my case, I'm just a home operation, so I do something like this. All right, 
And then let's show you what happens if I add another server. So let's say uh, server 2, 120, 750. I'm going to update my formula. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and update the formula here. And so that's 1584. So if I type in 1584 and I go back to number one, I'm going to get an error. Max watts exceeded, use larger model, and that's because 1584 exceeds 900 watts. So I'm going to have to keep scrolling down and use something like this, or just an 1800 watt tower UPS. Uh, it gives me eight, eight minutes, but the error goes away. So it tells me that I can use this UPS. That's it for today. Thank you.